first of all, if you can just kind of tell me a little bit about your story, that would be awesome. So I grew up with diabetes. My mom was diabetic, both of her parents. Um, one of her brothers is a type 1 diabetic. The other, her other two brothers are type 2 diabetics now. Um, and my mom was only in her 20s when she was diagnosed with it. Um, so I always knew about it, and I knew it was at high risk. And I got gestational diabetes with my last baby and had to do insulin. They told me there was a really good chance I would be diabetic within a few years um, of his birth. And it was about two and a half years. And then they, um, my blood test showed that I was diabetic. Um, so I did some diet control then, got it down a little bit. That didn't work long term. And uh, in June of this year, it got to probably the worst it's ever been. And I, at that point, I was on medication, and my A1C got up to 9.2. Mm-hmm. And so I tried some changes. I tried another meal planning service that, you know, they had low glycemic index meals. Then I got it down a little bit. They really focused on portion control and no carbs. And it still wasn't, even with medication, wasn't anywhere near where I wanted it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I had a friend take me to see Game Changers the one day it was in theaters here. Mm-hmm. Um, started doing a little bit of research and found how much is out there about how much plant-based can benefit diabetes. So I decided to just jump in. Um, I subscribed to the meal plans and have been doing that ever since. And I'm not someone who's ever regularly tested my blood. Mm -hmm. Um, So I didn't really know what my daily sugars were looking like. Um, So I went back after three months of using the meal plans and I had gone from 7.2 to 5.8. And my doctor, before I could even ask about changing meds, said, well, now you can start getting off them. Um, So we cut my dose in half. She gave me the option of just doing that for three months and testing again Mm -hmm. or testing my blood every day. And if my numbers are okay, just going off of it completely on my own, which is what I did. So I've now been off my meds for a couple of weeks. My blood sugars are still fine. Um, awesome. And I've gotten a lot of support from my husband. He has lost about 65 pounds um, since we started doing the plant-based. So it's benefiting him as well. Wow. Did you say 55 pounds he's lost? He's lost 65. 65. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, first of all, high fives right here through yeah, the computer. That was awesome. <laughs> um, like for both of you, that's amazing. So down to 5.8 from, while well, you were at 9.2 last year. But first of all, like, did you ever think that you could get your, your blood sugar number down with like without taking medication, like before you saw game changers, like did that thought ever occur to you? Did you ever know anything about that? Like where, where were you at? Like before you saw the game changers and started learning about this? Years ago, we had gone kind of more of a whole food, no processed approach, but still with meat and dairy. Um, And at the time my mom lived with us and even going, cutting out the processed foods, she was able to cut her insulin in half. So I knew food had a huge, effect Mm. um but i didn't realize how much and i had tried some diet stuff but it was so much with limiting carbs and portion control and it was never sustainable Mm -hmm. um and i always felt like when i cut out carbs that i was always hungry or i never felt really satisfied with meals Mm. um so i love that i can eat all the carbs (laughs) Um, cause I love, I've always loved brown rice and beans and lentils yeah. and things like that. So yeah. it's a perfect way of eating for me. Wow. That's so cool. Cause you know, those, all those starchy foods, like those are the foods that really keep us satisfied, mm-hmm. you know, and keep us um, satiated and fill us up. And so it makes sense that when you were like cutting calories and doing the no carb thing that you just, you, was it just a feeling of just never being like satisfied and always kind of mm-hmm. feeling hungry? Yeah. And then what would happen is. I'd be like, well, I can have one cheat day. And then everything just kind of goes downhill from there. And I'm right back to where I was. Right. And I don't feel the need to have a cheat day eating this way because I love the food that I'm eating and I always feel satisfied. Yes. Yes. So it's almost like you prefer eating this way anyways. So you, there's no reason to go back to anything else because exactly. you're, you're, because you're feeling happy and, and you're finding satisfaction from it, which I think is so key, right? Like when you stop 
having those like cravings when the cravings mm-hmm. are, are gone and you feel really satisfied, then it's like, that's, that's all you need to keep going like this. And I, and I've heard that with, with other people who have been diagnosed with diabetes or pre-diabetes and they've been kind of, um, you know, prescri- prescribed a certain diet. It's like, it's just not sustainable. Like what was your diet like leading up to this? As a kid, I grew up with like all vegetables generally came out of a can unless it was during the summer and they came from grandma's garden. Um, you know, potatoes came out of a box and then there was some kind of meat. Mm. And, uh, and if it wasn't boxed potatoes, it was boxed pasta or rice aroni, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, when I started having kids, I took a look at how we were eating um, and got more into whole foods and started making baby food for my oldest son and mm-hmm. things like that and tried to really stay away from anything boxed. But um, we've kind of gone back and forth over the years, just depending on our current life situation and what's going on. Mm -hmm. Um, but right before this, when I got to kind of the highest point with my blood sugars, um, we were eating probably more packaged food than we had been in the years previous. Mm -hmm. Um, and so there were a lot of other things going on that have decided we had to, we had to make a change. Um, and that's when we tried to do the low glycemic kind of thing. And it still just wasn't enough. Um, so when I started doing more research, I decided to just go for it and it's been great. Awesome. Well, good for you. Like that's so, I'm so like happy for you and your family, like, because this is such a, it's like such a, it's such a lifestyle change, isn't it? Instead of just being another diet. So when you first started doing this, like, because you were doing like the low carb thing and and these things in the past, like, did it feel counterintuitive to you to start eating complex carbohydrates? A little bit. (laughs) Um, The biggest one for me has been getting used to eating pasta again, (laughs) because some of the low glycemic stuff would still use brown rice or quinoa, um, but there was no pasta ever. It was, you know, zucchini noodles, which I do like. Um, but not for every meal. <laughs> every meal. <I> <laughs> um, so adding in, you know, the occasional whole grain pasta and stuff has been probably the one that, that was felt the oddest in the beginning. Mm-hmm. When you started making this switch, like, were you, were you kind of scared? Were you excited? Were you hesitant? Like, if you can think back to that, back to that time, or were you just to the point where like you really wanted a change and it didn't really matter? I was really excited because I love vegetables. Mm -hmm. Um, And even when I was a kid, I was not a huge meat eater. My mom used to hide it in other food so that I would eat it. Um, So it felt a little more natural for me. um, Mm -hmm. And I just felt better all around. And even my husband, within a week, he was a little hesitant to um, try this and was like, well, I'll try it two days a week. And I was like, uh, well, <laughs> I'm making dinner, so <laughs> if you want to cook something and add to it, that's your choice. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, but he also jumped on the bandwagon pretty quick with he really liked the food and didn't feel hungry. So mm-hmm. um, it became a it was a pretty quick transition, and it started feeling right very quickly, and is now just kind of habit. Um, and so even if we go out to eat, we have a few vegan places we can go. Um, or get as vegan as we can. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and even my kids, I swapped out chicken nuggets with the vegan chicken nuggets. Yeah, which I'm great. still trying to convince my kids they don't need chicken nuggets of any sort. But mm-hmm. until that day, they don't mind <laughs> plant-based ones at all. They actually request them now. Nice. Yeah, I was going to ask how your, how your kids were, were doing. So they're, they're, um, how old are your kids? Um, eight, 10 and 13. And so they are eating kind of how you eat. I mean, I think that's cool though. You know, like if kids are going to eat the vegan chicken nuggets and and you're doing whole food plant-based, then man, like good, good. That's an awesome step in the right direction. So I think that that's, that's a really good direction. It's going to get them used to, you know, this way of eating and you can ease them into it. So good, good for you. You're doing great. Sounds like you're a great mom. Yeah. We've had a lot of conversations about, at least with my 10 year old, um, you know, we have a strong family history of diabetes and other things. And if you don't want to end up like that, we have to make these changes now so they mm-hmm. become normal and habit 
Um, and then hopefully they never develop those problems. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. my 10 year old makes his own lunch and he even asked to make salads a couple times. Awesome. Um, he'll make himself like peanut butter and jelly and put a whole bunch of fruit and veggies in there. Uh, my oldest, I, I gave up, he buys lunch at school, so I don't know exactly what he eats, mm-hmm. but when he's at home, he's eating plant-based. So. Yeah. Awesome. And I think you nailed it. Like you want it to become habit and, and that's really it, isn't it? Like once it becomes mm-hmm. habit, you, you, you don't really even think about it anymore. You just kind of do it and you just yeah. eat this way and you like it and then you move on. It's like food doesn't have to be like such an issue. And I think with a lot of people who are, um, type two diabetic or even type one diabetic and they're, you know, they're really having to constantly watch what they eat and, and really like portion things out. I think that food becomes such a center of focus. And, and mm-hmm. even for people who aren't diabetic, but who are just used to like that dieting mentality, like when you don't have to think about it as much, it's just a whole lot easier. Yeah. And that was one of the big things going to the meal plans is I don't have to think right. it's all right there for me. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then I've, I've gotten into the habit of, you know, I use leftovers for lunches and yeah. throw in some salads and we're good to go. Like, I guess you went to the doctor eventually to get your numbers retested, but before mm-hmm. you did that and you started making the switch and you started following the meal plans, like what were some of the things that you were experiencing, like kind of right after that transition? Like within, I'd say days of kind of changing I just felt better in general. Mm -hmm. Um, I felt lighter and had more energy. So even if my numbers hadn't changed, I would still stick with it because I felt better overall. Mm -hmm. Um, And even like I, my mood, I think improved, like I felt Mm -hmm. happier and um, which really helps, you know, kind of continue um, the, the change because I was happy with it and I wanted to do it more. And yeah. I even got one of my coworkers to go a little more plant-based. So. Oh, very cool. Yeah. I mean, that feeling better piece that does, that will be like, that's the reason why this is so sustainable and so good because you don't need to be motivated to keep going. You just naturally are because you feel better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, even your mood will feel lighter. And there is, I mean, there's such a connection between like what we eat and how, how like the, our brain chemistry and like how happy we feel. It's crazy. So then you went to the doctor and you got checked out and your numbers had gone from, you said 7.2 to 5.8, your A1C, Mm -hmm. which is incredible. So was your doctor surprised when this happened? Um, I don't know if she was all that surprised because I told her I was going plant-based and wanted to retest. Um, And she's, even though she's just kind of the standard primary care, she has always been, um, she hasn't been pushy with medications. So she's okay. always tried to give me options of like diet and exercise and other things before going to medication. Okay. Um, she did tell me, she was like, you know, it's okay to have meat sometimes, just not a lot. <laughs> um, that kind of thing where like, right. you know, if you want it every once in a while, it's okay. And I was like, no, really, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, she was the first one to suggest changing my meds, lowering them and going off them. So it was nice. nice. So she was really to open argue. to that. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's nice. That's really nice. So I'm sure that she was really pleased with your with your numbers. I, you know, I went when I saw my doctor last, uh, and you know, just got the regular like you know blood work and all this. She's like, it's so rare that like I see people who don't need medication. I'm usually putting people on medication, not you know giving them none or or taking them off. And so I think that it is. A, and I think for doctors, you know, because doctors want their patients to be healthy. Like mm-hmm. there's no doubt about that. And so I am sure that, that your doctor seeing you, you know, get off medications has been wonderful for her. And I'm sure eye opening because I'm like, you, you told her what you're doing. Right. So she knows. Mm-hmm. So that's like, it's so good. Now she has that little, like that she has a patient who has been able to do it. And so, and more mm-hmm. people can do this. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So tell me like, if you um, could just tell somebody you know, like who was in your shoes, like last year, who had really high one, high A1C and who, who is just looking for something else, looking for an alternative. What would you tell them? Just jump in and and do it because you will feel so much better and your health will improve. I mean, just having so much more energy to do things with my kids 
Um, this past weekend, we had a two night stay out of the campground for Cub Scouts and bunk houses. And I was like, okay, I, I can do this because they're serving hot dogs and hamburgers to the kids. Mm -hmm. um, and I went out fully prepared with all of my food and I had some of their parents say, why do you get to eat that and I'm eating a hot dog? <laughs> <laughs> because I brought really yummy food. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I mean, this way of eating can be like so delicious and so um, varied and mm -hmm. so just, I think, different from what a lot of people think that it is. And one of the things I've had to learn is I'm usually not one of the people that will ask like a restaurant to customize my food or like yeah. I'm just the, the kind of the quiet person. So I've had to push myself outside of my comfort zone a little bit and ask questions about like what's in this. And one day one of my friends really wanted to go to IHOP and I was like, okay, I'll take you. And I'm looking at their menu and other than like a side cup of fruit, <laughs> there's like nothing. Yeah. So I was looking, I'm like, can I get all the toppings that would be on this omelet? all of these bell peppers <laughs> and onion stuff, but on some hash browns. Nice. <laughs> and they did it for me. <laughs> nice. See, you just have to ask. That's awesome. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Sometimes you just really have to get creative and say, like, oh, geez. And then it's, and then it's never very good, but then, you know, you went there for your kid, right? So yeah. Different. Yeah, totally. I mean, so that's so cool. So just jump right in. That's your advice. Just jump right in. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's, that's great advice because how else are you going to do it? Yeah. So what about um, your family other than your husband and your kids? Like, what about your, you know, your, your parents, are they around? Your yeah. cousins, do you have family who's like curious about this? My, my, both my parents are gone, but my, my grandma and my uncles, because we did Thanksgiving and Christmas and like, I actually had to cook the turkey for Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm sure? like, I'll cook it, but I'm not eating it. But um, I made a whole bunch of, you know, sides that I could eat and brought that. And uh, everybody liked all the sides that I brought. And, you know, they were curious about how I was eating. But the biggest feedback I got was, well, I just don't have time or I can't do that. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, well, it's, you know, it's all about priorities. I spend all day Sunday cooking, um, mm -hmm. which wasn't new for me. And that's why I love your guys' meal plans, because the batching like that is something I've done in the past. Mm -hmm. um, one point where I worked full time, I was going to grad school full time. I was leading my cubs, um, my kids' Cub Scouts, and all of a sudden I was like, I didn't have time, so I had to spend all weekend prepping food and everything for the week. Mm. Otherwise, we were going to be eating frozen pizzas and McDonald's. That's just the only way we right. could get around that was to spend the weekend cooking. Yeah. Um, and my husband's been great and keeps the kids distracted so I can cook. Um, yeah. And I drag them with me when I go grocery shopping. And yeah, um, yeah they've all kind of pitched in. I'm teaching my 10 year old how to do some basic cooking. He helps me wash all my greens on the weekend now. And he loves awesome. to do salad spinner. <laughs> awesome. Like these are such important things that, I mean, just being exposed to that, you know, like that will, that will shape their life. You know, I mean, most kids don't even know, like, you know, what leafy green vegetables look like, you know, and here your kid is washing them. So I think that that is super cool. And, you know, you're right. It is about priorities. And there's always a way to make it work because even if you like aren't eating super healthy, you still have to eat, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Exactly. So, and, and, and yes, going through the drive through is, is faster and more convenient, but in the end, it is not <laughs> in the end. Exactly. You'll pay a higher price. <laughs> yes. And I've learned to compromise a little bit. My oldest and youngest are both um, developmentally delayed and autistic. And so sometimes their eating habits are a little different, but I found with my oldest, if I put it in a tortilla and let him put ranch on it, he'll eat Brussels sprouts <laughs> whatever I shove in there. So I'm like, okay, we're making this work. That's so awesome. Well, you are just a delight and I wish you like all the success going forward. And I know that you are in our Lighten Up group as well. Um, and so I love seeing you around. So definitely don't be a stranger. And thank you. Thank you again for talking with me. And I just, you know, I really want more people to know what's possible. And although our meal plans are not designed, you know, to, to treat type 2 diabetes, like that's not what we're doing, but we're getting so much feedback from people just like you who are like, Hey, I'm able to like cut down my medication or getting off my medication. And I think that mm -hmm. it's worthy of like shouting this off the rooftop. So, so thank you for being, for being part of this and for helping me 
share and spread this word. Yeah. Thank you for putting all this together. It has been amazing. Ah, uh, well, it's my joy. So yes, the pleasure is mine. And um, tell your family I said hello and thank you again so much and have a really good night. Thanks. Bye. Bye.